Zach, this is Crystal Palace. Sink Norad has declared DEFCON 3. Scramble all alert aircraft. I repeat, scramble all alert aircraft. George Soros was dealt a massive defeat with the landslide populist uprising election of Donald J. Trump one week ago. Soros has openly bragged on CNN's Fareed Zarkaria's program that he helped finance and run the overthrow of the democratically elected government in Ukraine two and a half years ago. You, during the revolutions of 1989, funded a lot of dissident activity, civil society groups in Eastern Europe, in Poland, the Czech Republic. Are you doing similar things in Ukraine? Well, I set up a foundation in Ukraine before Ukraine became independent of uh, Russia. Um, and the foundation has been uh, functioning ever since. And it played a, an important part in events now. And Soros has now met, according to Politico, this weekend in D.C. with dozens and dozens of top billionaires and other financiers to organize a new revolution in America, a black slash rainbow color revolution, uh, basically based on gang mentality and racism and pushing the lies that Donald Trump's a homophobe and hates black people. You are a racist. Yes. Oh, That's sad. Yes. That's real sad. He's against you. Why will you why will you support a racist? Let me tell you what he said about he's going Americans. to send you back to Africa. That's what he said. Oh, what he, said? he said send Mexicans back to Mexico. You you are you shit you are a disgrace to America. Thank you. For being a young black man Thank supporting you. a racist. Thank you. Yes. When all he's done is pledge to cut taxes on poor people across the board to zero and have incentives to build factories and other uh, job-bearing programs and industries in the black community and has been an advocate for gay rights for 30 years. But that doesn't matter. George Soros, the bizarre Nazi collaborator that's still walking around, has pledged to start war with Russia, has pledged to turn the Middle East over to radical jihadist groups working with Saudi Arabia. He's overthrown more than 15 countries and destroyed their currencies. He is a true James Bond villain, and he is hopping mad that the defense condition had been brought all the way to three, which is the nuclear bombers ready, the missiles ready, from five, and has now gone back to five because Russia and the United States are now entering a level of detente. And just yesterday, Vladimir Putin called Trump, and Trump said, we're going to have a new relationship with Russia. We're going to try to base it on peace, and we're going to have mutual respect and try to work towards wiping out radical Islamic invasions across Russia's border and also the Middle East. Across the board, real political analysts, a lot of top professors and real liberals came out and said, this is a great idea. This is what the world needs. The Democrats and Soros are in an open war against free speech. That's what political correctness is all about. They have CEOs calling for the death of Trump, the actual assassination, saying they're going to kill him themselves. They need to be arrested. We have directors saying it's time for violence. Katy Perry. This is the whole corporate Hollywood mouthpiece of the big multinational corporations that have hijacked this nation. And we've got the New York Times thinking you're so stupid. They now just don't deny world government, which is admitted, or global governance. They now say globalism never existed and that the Davos group isn't pushing for it when they admit that's their term and their plan for corporate planetary government. We are now facing a common challenge. And the challenge is how to build a world order for the first time in history on a global basis. So in conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, a new world is emerging. It is a new world order with significantly different and radically new challenges. The affirmative task we have now is, uh, is to actually um, uh, create uh, uh, a new world order. Good evening, everybody. President Obama and British Prime Minister Gordon today calling for a new world order to tackle our global economic crisis. And the president outlined his vision of a new world order in which the U.S. would participate fully. We've got to give them a stake in creating the kind of uh, a world order that I think all of us would like to see. So I see a world order in the future with a multipolar world order. 
I think a new world order is emerging and with it the foundations of a new and progressive era of international cooperation. But in a globalized economy, we are going to have to take global responsibilities and there going to, is going to have to be some several semblance of global governance. Never before has a new world order had to be assembled from so many different perceptions or on so global a scale. Nor has any previous order had to combine the attributes of the historic balance of power system with global democratic opinion and the exploding technology of the contemporary period. And I strongly believe India will be a central actor in the new world order. Soros allies like Megyn Kelly have come out and called it the year of the bully concerning Donald Trump when he has never killed anyone like Hillary Clinton has done. Hillary Clinton and her actions killed over 500,000 Iraqi children with their sanctions that were worse than Bush seniors. They killed tens of thousands upon tens of thousands in Libya and hundreds of thousands in Syria. All of that was her doing and Obama's doing. But their poor, sad, dumbed-down constituents don't care because they've learned words like homophobe, racist, and sexist. The good news is the same majority of white voters that elected Obama to prove that they weren't racist elected Donald Trump to prove that they weren't stupid, and they were joined by the largest group of black voters for a Republican since the 1950s, and the largest group of Hispanics as well, which shows no matter what the mainstream media do and how much hate they spew, and no matter how much money criminals like George Soros pump into this, the people of America and the world are waking up to globalism. Russia's pulling out of the corporate new world order. The UK's pulling out via the Brexit, and we're pulling out as well. It's about sovereignty, it's about self-determination, and it's about standing up to international crime bosses like George Soros. You went out with this protector of yours who swore that you were uh, his adopted godson. Yes, Christian. yes. Went out, in fact, and helped in the confiscation of property from the Jews. That's right. Yes. I mean, that's, that sounds uh, like an experience that would send lots of people to the psychiatric couch for many, many years. Was it difficult? Uh, uh, not, not, not at all. Not at all. It, uh, maybe as a child, you don't, you don't see the connection. Uh, but it was, it created no, no problem at all. Electrify your day with Secret 12. It's like lightning in a bottle. We all have days in which we just can't seem to perform at the level we'd like to. InfoWars Live Secret 12 is designed to naturally energize your body and mind with two great tasting and super high quality forms of vitamin B12. Proper vitamin and nutrient intake is essential to keep your body functioning at optimum levels. The reality is, it's hard to take in the proper amount of vitamins we need each day with our modern diets. Secret 12 by InfoWars Life is an easy way to naturally upgrade your vitamin B12 intake and support your body's natural systems. It pairs two forms of vitamin B12 into one explosive formula. Vitamin B12 supports healthy energy levels through red blood cell formation and aiding in the body's natural processes, but it also assists with many other functions of the body. Electrify your mind and body and take your health to the next level. Experience the power of Secret 12 at InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Life.com.